it's kind of similar to um, lemon peel in some ways in that the vitamin content of the orange peel is actually higher than the actual orange itself. In this case, it has twice the vitamin C as regular orange does. So it's very interesting how the peels um, on both lemon and orange are the same way, that they have better um, vitamin content. I find that fascinating myself. It's also supposed to help by boosting your immune system. It's supposed to help with various things in your skin care, like uh, helping with acne, blackheads, any blemishes that you may have. And it's also supposed to help illuminate the skin a little bit. Ooh. Now, it's also supposed to help with cholesterol levels. Uh, orange peel tea contains pectin, and when pectin combines with bile acids in the liver, it helps to lower cholesterol. And the orange peel also contains uh, hesperidin, which helps to lower cholesterol as well, according to research by Elzbieta Kurowska, PhD. Orange peel tea is also good for blood pressure, and it's been used for thousands of years in traditional Chinese medicine for this purpose. Now, a study done with men with high blood pressure showed that drinking orange peel tea over a four-week period helped to lower their blood pressure. It's also a potent anti-inflammatory that can help with things like arthritis, joint pain, and swelling. It helps with diabetes by reducing insulin resistance and stabilizing your blood sugar. It helps clear away things like mucus and uh, it deals with sinus infections. It's supposed to be good for cold and flu. It's also good for headaches and migraines. Now, if you boil some orange peel tea and breathe in the vapors, they say that that's supposed to help soothe away headaches. It's one way to do it. It's also great for various stomach problems, including gas, indigestion, stomach aches, bloating, heartburn, and even good for sluggish digestive tracts. And it's also supposed to be good for things like constipation and nausea. So uh, lots of different kinds of things that are, you have to do with the gut and stomach. And stomach? That's the same thing. It's supposed to help with sensitive teeth and actually helps supposed to protect your teeth. Another one that I'm sure will make a lot of people out there happy is it's supposed to help boost your metabolism and help uh, stave off hunger pangs and thereby helping you to lose weight better. Woo! It's an antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, and even an antimicrobial agent. It's supposed to help with various lung functions including bronchitis. Orange peel tea contains agents that prevent the release of histamines and thus helps you prevent allergic reactions. Orange peels given to mice in laboratory tests at the Division of Molecular Diabetes Research from Hope Hospital showed that flavonoids in the peel inhibited the production of various proteins, specifically RLIP76, which kept them from coming down with diabetes, obesity, cancer, and having high cholesterol. And finally, it's supposed to help with uh, various problems with PMS and cramps, um, hangovers and motion sickness, and even relieving heartburn. So bam, lots and lots of wonderful benefits of orange peel out there, baby. Woo. The final very interesting fact is that they actually say that drying the orange peel rather than having it fresh is better in this case. There is a study done at the Institute of Organic Chemistry in Bulgaria that found dried orange peel when made into a tea released more pectin than the actually fresh orange peel. So I guess you gotta dry those orange peels for the best results. Yeah, who knew? But all right, my friends, that is it for today. I hope you have had a wonderful day. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about orange peel and its benefits, please let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, you guys go out there, have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and we'll catch you for the next Tea of the Day.